Hello guys, um, let's talk some midnight crypto. Um, I'm just going to outline some cryptocurrencies that I'm getting comfortable with or am comfortable with and things that I think are worth looking at and doing some due diligence on if you're interested in this space, um, which I think would be a beneficial thing to be interested in. Um, so let's start at the top of cryptos that I like. Um, Bitcoin, it's a cryptographic store of value. It'll be there, it'll stay there. It's, it's not going away. It is, it's, just, it's just there, it's, it's digital gold. Um, Litecoin is the quick efficient version of Bitcoin. Uh, more likely to be the payments layer that Bitcoin was thought to become. But uh, they've had a developer that left Coinbase, went to work on Litecoin full time. He, things have been happening with that. They got a segregated witness first. So they're, they're generally pushing the envelope and then Bitcoin slowly follows suit because uh, the technology that they put in was supposed to be for Bitcoin, but due to disagreements in the community, it hasn't gotten implemented yet. Could possibly be done always first. It should be really good for Bitcoin if it is, I'd say. Um, moving on from Litecoin, which is doing really well right now, cup and handle formation. It uh, looks like a buy um, is Ethereum, uh, which is basically an industry platform. Uh, you've probably heard about it already. It's the second biggest crypto in the news anyway. Um, it, it's it's it it's the money or it is the transactional medium uh, for the computation that occurs on it and what it is is code on a blockchain much like Bitcoin um, that allows people to write scripts or contracts smart contracts or tokens and uh, essentially make companies on its platform or organizations of people uh, they would be DAOs or just interesting uh, commodities and it can do quite a lot so it, it's the base layer it's the, it's the thing to invest with um, and gets cashed out into real money real money currency um, a bit bullshit but um, then there is Dash which is interesting it's got uh, added uh, anonymity to Bitcoin in the sense that it has coin mixing and Bitcoin is only pseudo anonymous if you've got enough resources to put into scouring through the blockchain and have enough information you could work out what's happened but you know it's unlikely but still we've got technology coming out to prevent that uh, which is cryptography evolving so great uh, Dash is looking to be the new visa they're looking to be the fast payments layer, much like Litecoin's looking like it is. Uh, Dash is doing pretty well. They're looking to scale the blocks as well, which will to like massive block size, which will uh, be very good for it in the future and its speed, etc. So that's looking like it will be uh, a good one as well. Um, XM Monero um, is an anonymous coin. It's focused around being anonymous, um, and it's currently the market leader in that. Uh, so that's interesting at the moment. However, I think there are better things coming out, which I'll get to in a bit. So tomorrow, maybe for now, there's a hold into a bit and then jump. I don't know, up to you. Um, XEM, New Economy Movement. That is. Uh, it's all sorts of things. It's kind of like Japan's Ethereum. Um, it's big over there. It's a messaging platform with cryptocurrency built in. So payments on messaging, lots of, lots of phony kind of thing. It, it, it seems to be doing well over there anyway. Uh, so it might be bigger in the future. It'll probably ride the crypto wave up. Um, then you have uh, 
you have Ant Shares, which is just rebranded to Neo, so the new ticker will be Neo shortly, but currently it's Ant Shares, so it's ANS. Um, that is China's version of Ethereum and uh, New Economy Movement. So, again, big market there uh, to get into cryptography. I could see some really massive gains if it goes mainstream in that territory. Um, following that, I, I have just seen Fun listed on the exchange last night on Bittrex. Um, we got some in an ICO uh, recently. Uh, Fun is Casino Tools. It is the games for whitelisted casinos. So you have blacklisted casinos, which are pirates that don't have any regulations roughly. Then you have whitelisted casinos, which are casinos that are online that have gone through regulation processes to be whitelisted and allowed to operate online. And uh, essentially, he makes the games that go to these people. So they buy the games off him, rebrand it with different graphics, and operate by working around the regulations in various areas. So he's basically come along and made that same business model work on the blockchain. So users buy fun tokens. Fun tokens go into all of these universally listed white list, universal white listed uh, casinos. So the more gambling that happens on the blockchain, more than likely this is the one um, because it's it, it, it's it's basically getting a monopoly on and a massive first mover advantage on uh, the legalized gambling. So that will probably do very well in the future. Um, Veritasium is a Wall Street investment turned on its head. Um, instead of getting the information for free, Wall Street usually gives you free reports and then they manage your account and they charge you 20% or whatever to manage that account. Um, they're flipping the model of that where your account is pretty much managed for free and then you pay for the information at the end that manage that account um, with the Veritasium. It avoids uh, regulations, problems, uh, as you can imagine, that side of things is pretty heavily regulated. Um, but the, the management of that account is done autonomously uh, to a large degree with the input of the three full-time analysts. It can analyze uh, property value over time and things like this. You have to see the working model, but if it's a success, then no one's going to blow up. Um, what else? Uh, Humanique uh, is banking the unbanked uh, as their aim. Um, essentially, keeping currency for what's needed, i.e. banking the crops rather than income available. So the deal of goods in that side of things becomes uh, tokenized, whereas the day-to-day -day pub money and stuff that can be problematic to buying crops if it's not there is, is separate to that. So it, it it's interesting. We'll see where it goes. Um, Cloak Coin um, is another mother uh, dark coin. The idea is to be as uh, invisible as possible. Uh, it is. Um, it, it also allows you to uh, what's the word stake. Uh, you can stake your cloak and earn 6% I think on block rewards. Not so comfortable with this one, little investment in it at the minute as it's new, but um, at the same time you can hook up a Raspberry Pi if you've got a little bit and stake and earn more. So if, if it goes somewhere it's, it's worth doing now. Uh, there seems to be a lot of chatter about it on the internet. Uh, an example being some 
trade that I was listening to last night called Litecoin to the Moon, uh, Random Tangents, um, good channel. But, uh, but yeah, they were talking about it there and just discovered them myself. So, coincidence, I think there's a bit of buzz gaming around it. Uh, Skycoin is another dark coin, but I believe it started in the forums as the new dark net plan. It is a mesh net, um, which is a way of getting transmission around even blockades and refusals. It's a, it is a resilient form of communication, so they're building a mesh net with um, communication channels, payment channels, all kinds of things around it. They've got a large portion of the code done. It, it seems to have kind of come from a community of people determined to like not be silenced and have their internet shut down. Um, it comes from a community of the outraged, uh, which is good because it will drive development. And the development looks like it's going to be pretty good on this. It is already looking like it's pretty good and uh, it, it's it's very technical as well um, so not a lot of people are going to be interested in it for the time being but as Theresa May decides to try and shut down our internet um, we may see more movement towards that side of things uh, also interestingly enough I saw one of the comments in the slack talking to a fella uh, going uh, did I not see you as a LISC developer and he said yeah you've now found uh, my two one of two of my favorite projects uh, Sky and uh, Arc which I don't really know about so I'm not mentioning but it goes well for Sky to have developers jumping ship to it um, and the same fella had also commented somewhere around on the design being very similar to uh, NASA's, I can't remember, network, uh, interplanetary net communications network of some sort. So uh, again, if you have a passionate community developing stuff that's anonymous and could be used by bigger players like NASA, but you have a passionate team developing on that side of things, you may see larger adoption there maybe more scalability, more development there than you do see in their space and you never know, um, some some money could come in um, from those sectors. Uh, that's an interesting coin. Um, then Aragon, which is a governance token. Um, it allows, well, to describe Aragon. Aragon is a company, potentially, it's a company platform. You build, uh, or you, it's a company governance platform is a better way, sorry to say that. Um, so you can build your digital company and manage the sharing, shareholding of that company on the Aragon platform. So, um, that would be who's involved, who has what rights to say what, how things should be managed, uh, how long people get in and out of the company as shareholders, vesting it's known as, and uh, things that happen in public companies. So it's kind of public company management on the blockchain, um, but kind of decentralized so, and accessible to much, much smaller communities wishing to innovate in the digital space. So I think that the potential for that uh, is quite good. Uh, it's one of my favorites uh, in the sense that company governance is really fucking difficult. Um, and I think more can be achieved when everybody has stakes in things, uh, skin in the game, so to speak. So 
I'm really interested in that side of things and honourable mention to Colony which isn't out yet um, which looks really interesting in the sense that it's a Dell management platform uh, much like Aragon they probably work together very well um, but Dell management in the sense that you can include talented people to work on projects and autonomate projects for the gain of the community and essentially the more skin you put in the more you get back and that is great because the more people want to put into something the larger a company grows and develops um, and if they're seeing the lion's share of it for pushing forward then it incentivizes people to do that if you have a whole company doing that it's unstoppable um, yeah so I, um, I, I'm enjoying the ant action uh, let's see where it goes um, okay so that's about that from my crypto list of things worth looking at best